Beloved in the Lord, the peace of the Lord be with you all. As we join Kamo, Hejole, Ahanya, Mutifafa, Mami, I will especially welcome you to this special program of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, the Presbyterian Hour. Beloved in the Lord, may our prayers be like incense set before our God, the lifting of our hands like the evening offering. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, may we all join our hearts and minds in humility as we worship the Lord. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and the earth. One thing I have asked of the Lord, that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. We shall continue the service by singing Presby hymn number 20. Almighty God, who made the church your dwelling place, let be pleased to manifest yourself to us, your servants who meet this day in this holy place. Inspire our hearts to worship you in spirit and in truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Almighty Father, accept us as we dedicate ourselves anew to you, to enable us by your grace to obey you in all things, and to yield our hearts and lives to your service. Grant unto us a pure love to you, a deeper devotion to our Lord and Savior, a true loyalty to your church, and a stronger desire to proclaim your kingship and to glorify your name. We ask for these things through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and rings and is worshipped and glorified with you in the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, the scriptural reading for this special service is chosen from the second epistle of Apostle Paul to the Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 to 17. Then we continue from chapter 4 verse 1 through to 9. Now thanks be to God always who leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. For we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To the one we are aroma of death leading to death and to the other we are aroma of life leading to life. And who is sufficient for these things? For we are not as many peddling the words of God but as sincerity 
but as from God, we speak in the sight of God in Christ. Chapter 4, the first nine verses. Therefore, since we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we do not lose heart, but we have renounced the hidden things of shame, but walking in craftiness, nor handling the words of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commanding ourselves, every man's conscience in the sight of God. But even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing, whose minds the gods of this age has blinded, who do not believe, least the light of the gospel of glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. For we do not preach ourselves, but we preach Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your bond servants for Jesus' sake. For it is God who commanded light to shine out of darkness, and who has shone in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of power may be of God and not of man. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. The word of God. Glories of my God and King, the crowns of His grace, gracious Master and my God, assist me to proclaim, spread through all the ever broad the honors of Thy name, Jesus, the name that charms our fears, the peace our sorrow sees, steals music in the sinner's ears, steals life and health and peace. He breaks the power of counsel, saying He sells a prisoner free. His blood can make the fullest clean. His blood are paid for me. To God all glory, praise, and love be now and forever given by saints below and saints above. The church in earth and heaven. Amen. Amen. We thank the almighty God this very special occasion. I'm speaking on the theme, Christians are the pleasing aroma of Christ. 
people of God, Scripture has described the Christian life using an unusual metaphor. In this context, the Apostle Paul pictured believers as captives of a Roman general returning in victory from war. In that era, generals who parade the conquered army through the streets while burning incense in celebration of the victory. This made the procession a combination of sight, sound, and smell, all of which proclaimed the victory of the commander. But Paul recognized that the scent of Jesus' victory would not be pleasing to all. The reason for Paul's sanction is that there are unbelievers to whom the smell of Christ in believers' lives serve as a reminder of the darkness in which they live. It may be jealousy of the freedom believers have found in Jesus' victory or merely the fundamental portion between light and darkness, life and death. Sadly, the light of Christ in his followers will be violently rejected by some. Regardless of the reception, followers of Christ have the amazing opportunity to participate in his victory procession throughout the world. Why all people like Paul once rebelled against the gospel, Christians now reveal the incredible privilege and honor of raising his banner and spreading his glory with their lives and the ways. So if we and now my prayer, ye waha se ye nuyanu mi, ah o nyame na madrum swa frewo mi na oni ye jume mi ene ye ye kan ewo ye mi se ene ye shom ba tekeri kesi na ena na pe ye ya ye ye Christo fono ye ye Christo me eme viase. We are the aroma of Christ. Now, if you know, yeah, yeah, no, it me to him to be. If you say a pa is sum and honiema, one year any year no, it will be a one tia see a wet tree. Now, so yeah, 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 no, yes, Christo at the yeah, yeah, to suck or the yeah, 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 yeah. Sani ya beya Christo fano ebe to me achi be bibia na ya na masem panekani ano so e di akubi ansi me ina so Second Corinthians four one and three therefore since we have this ministry because we were shown mercy we do not give up instead we have renounced secret and shameful things not acting deceitfully. Or distorting the word of God, but commending ourselves before God to everyone's conscience by an open display of the truth. As I say, ye dia kukudro onyami ye ye fri wiasi ye ni mguasi ye ni mamuti no. As I say, ye tumidi akukudro ko nyangrompo asem. We don't parry the word of God. But without boldness, we must have courage to spread the truth of the gospel about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. In 2 Corinthians 4, 1 to 9, Paul described his ministry fully in this letter to the Corinthians church. In this passage, he explained that he had this ministry because of God's mercy. And because he was being transformed into God's likeness, the challenge to this generation and to our generation and the next generation to come is that Paul explained that the message of his ministry was focused on the glory of God as revealed through Jesus Christ and mediated through the Spirit. So this is a challenge. This is a challenge. The question is what is the focus of our ministry as Christians today. The glory of God that's revealed through Jesus Christ and dated through the Spirit or anything else or otherwise. Paul Asanka 
or so on yami yin in free sin anyway, a yadom, a yahumobo. So to be a Christian or to serve the Lord Jesus Christ is a privilege. On yami my and see a tihe, sasofo, sasafuma, sasafumpenifo, a yakwenya. It is a privilege. So we need to demonstrate our love. Anunti as a sir, ye bombardin can't assemble ye, na ye can't assemble a papon to ma. Now, Senior Yenan or the sheer Christra, who bought in a new yam, and a me busa say, and then a may, and in the abba, and in the away, and in the ha. Juma or trading up one free, and I'm a ready yes or so, eh, you know. Ya 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 show yam, crump and your yam, and answer the beef of raw. This is a question. Yeah, yeah, the answer Christ or no, or who ye are mobile, or JM friend who we are seeing mu, and answer a baby for fro and a year. A young we are men only a Christ of one, not only Presbyterians, but all Christians who believe in Jesus Christ. Say a hun is sad, yeah, ye be a juma, Eddie Amerati. A hun is a new woman where you are from, dear, ye be a juma, a peja, Unyanko Pong Esson, na a yakwenya. It is a privilege. Your strength and your money, your wealth, no matter what and no matter how, you can never buy this glory. Because the focus on God's glory required Paul's singular focus and devotion. Just as it requires same of believers today. In light of this, believers should know that the joy of carrying this message was not without challenge for Paul. Few before all sins have faced the kind of suffering and here Paul experienced on a regular basis in his ministry. And yet, I want to say, despite the incredible suffering he endured for the sake of the gospel, Paul rejoiced because his own weakness revealed the incredible power of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, the only young group who are the best daddy. Oh, we need to be able. Indeed, he continued by explaining that the glory of the gospel is carried by believers in jars of clay. So this indicates that believers themselves are those treasure jars, ordinary and common. But the privilege we have is despite this, or even because of this, God has chosen us to take the unsurpassing glory of his name to the world, to proclaim reconciliation and freedom to the broken and the lost soul, those who are in darkness, the marginalized, the afflicted, the oppressed, so that they will also see Jesus and the light of Jesus which is the light of the world. Another experience Paul acknowledged is that the persecution that will come to believers as they spread the good news of Jesus is another matter. But in every circumstance, he explained there is victory. There is victory for Jesus' followers may have. Hard press on every side. Hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. Helpless, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Strike down, but not destroyed. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. No matter one circumstances, it is never too late, never too late, and no one is ever too far gone for Christ to bring victory into their lives. So there be a human, not a yet thing, sir. We answer for penny, sir. We are cool penny, we answer for ba. Young fire hunter throat to me. Young fire hunter throat to me, Chris of some sabri, a yaya, sir. A bacuma sem. I could never be a dahin fear be your friend of a bacuma henny. You have a saw here. Na and Crawford swap a cano. No oco. Nessa a bacuma here to the nana one year, Bren was a man quite some people be mammy and son. This is not kind of Christianity we are talking about. Abakuma here ko no one here saw here no ni kwamu bu was there be mumpe and ye may be mremi answer. At times they have to give them money before they go for it. And we are not talking about this gospel. It is never like we are doulos. Paul say yankwa. Ya yankwa and ye kuna manika kransa. 
Trabi a bacon son a dorsum. A dorsum and safunumu. A see a gin and who say, Ye con am a Christian, and your yam, I say a cosso. Ye con only a wasomo, and one young company or yam. Ye con, ye bessie or conomo a penny and poa. Ye nimsa, yes, or more than a bededdy. Ye are actually a hundred. It is time that we need to man courage and go forward with the cross and preach the gospel that delivers people from darkness. I believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, try ya hundo do. Yeah, yeah, ya back man some do do. We kwa, we ba, oh there be been to me and the same. E duro beria. Se radia ye fru sumo. Me no me no. E se ya cosa self why e di hwa no. Go we are the aroma of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now let's see the aggressiveness of the earlier church in Acts 11, 19 to 26. And I saw that it was very distinctive. People of God. In Antioch, Christianity was launched on its wide web mission. And there the believers aggressively prayed to the Gentiles who did not worship God. And I say, with the exception of Jerusalem, Antioch of Syria played a more important role in the earlier church than any other city. Of course, given the marked diversity in religious backgrounds, people of God, social status, economy power, age and ethnicity among the earlier Christians, it is a miracle that the young church ever gained its footing. The question here is, what was it that unified and identified believers despite all these differences? In short, I want to say, Christians were known by what they said and they did. They were known by what they said and did. They preached about Jesus and they acted like Christ. This is the only difference. They preached about Jesus and they acted as Christ. In this context, one can see clearly that the description of the church in Acts are distinctive and profound. Painting Christians as compassionate, prophetic, Selfless, committed, and loving followers of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And one can boldly say that indeed, true Christians have always been committed to more than a set raw ideas or beliefs. They are active, giving people who reach out to others in service, joyful telling them about their relation with Jesus. Share Sending a small phone, you man, a can a fan, sorry, a dear, and can no more. A busman for one in a home, a can a devil and a daddy. My home, so a nippe, a Christopher. One in our summer, what can no one, no more yet. Now, or seeing Kitty can to me, and what yes, Christopher Mono, and maybe we are seeing a part every year. And then, we are so coward this time, we don't want to face the rarities. And near my head, you know, you can see a quenim, a who a boy in Satan. Even the territories we find it very difficult to penetrate. Mount our courage. The areas that people cannot go there, they can never enter. Christ has given us the penetrating source. That is the strength of the Holy Spirit. But we are here to me, and we are here Yes, we are here to me, and we are here to and here we are. Yeah, I said, sorry, I was in all the previous. Yeah, I said, but be bare. I said, do you know me? I said, I'm not I said, see, I don't See a fat gem. See a fancy gem. See a fake gem. Bare man, I say, I'm not now. Can you? Oh my Lord Jesus, what is happening this days? A different Nancy. And any hand you can draw. And crowd who do I say, I cost you can you me? I said, yes, bro. Me and myself, friend, I go here. Point and sorry, yeah. After we back catch there with this minister, we saw for say after me cut the hinterlands to go and preach the word of God, and I must do justice to my call. Hallelujah. Onyame ni abuafo. Onyame eni abuafo. One challenge as fellow Christians is that looking at the circumstances surrounding Christianity today, people of God, is it true that Christians are who always lead? As, as captives in Christ, triumphal procession used by God to spread the aroma of the knowledge of Him everywhere. According to the book of Acts, the earlier church grew 
as more people came to faith in Christ. This indicates that God was behind this rapid growth. But God uses people like I and you to carry out his way. And I can bet that those who observed the Christian community saw something really attractive and appealing there. Comparing our churches to the earlier church in us can be a helpful way, Papa Moderator Saza, to check if our priorities are right. Yamfa edikan fono wamu 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 namiye wani nziye na yamfa tutu ene esumi yangu yebeku mose kwenye mje chesia omenya yetimu kwenye mje chesia yeye Christopher eni yama bi bari yeye da unyame dini pani vi beka wangu fiso nyangu pa wangu odenta wewechi yeye sa ni esasi yeye unyame nzo ebeka yangu na yetimu kwenye now my colleague Noble ministers today, you are here waiting patiently for the act of your ordination by the moderator. But take note of this. Humbly, I am saying, doing God's will is a practical act of discipleship. A practical act of discipleship. Again, a reflection of a heart of obedience to God and the leaders of this church. Shout out the young says where we but a Karina, a de Bessie Wono, a young Brassier, our bedroom, a mere Sam Wabra, who wants a moon young crumpon, any and penny for a was up no more. Disease, I don't know. Do you think the gun can carry everything? You have a responsibility. Yes, I'm about a carry, and no interest, and no new Yamia Yepe, Obua, a infitia. See, I do boo, ni ferry a moon young crumpon, any penny for we are suffering. Yeah, yes, sir. Again, God asks for sacrifice of an obedient life. And he sent the spirit to leave the hearts of his followers in order to empower them so that their lights will shine to radiate Jesus Christ to accomplish his purpose. And this is the reason why you are here. This is the reason why you are here. And I want to say this requires daily surrounding one's own will Allowing the body to die to serve and conform to God's way. And Jesus was the ultimate model of this way throughout his life on earth. In addition to this, I must say, colleagues, leading God's people is unlike any other tax in the world. Which is why it requires a calling of the spirit and not merely training for a job. Not merely training for a job. A minister of the gospel or leader of the church deals with the eternal and the spiritual nature of things. He or she has the awesome responsibility of dealing with the immortal soul of man. Take note of this. The challenging aspect of this is that his leadership and decision have the potential of affecting eternity. And that is an even greater burden. Your next responsibility, colleagues, as a sent one, is to walk in wisdom towards those who are outside, redeeming the time. Let your speech always be graceful, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each other. Corinthians chapter 4, 5, and 6. When you must say, so that it can preserve. Only a crap near the sea, this is young man, a full be dashing as a training and quam. And on America, one of my sem, a tough one, one year sign chain, send a bear will be bow and moon will sell be beer, will be to me a can be beer, a bit to me a gene free proemo. It is not a spirit of pride. So we need to apply wisdom so that the good Lord also will give you the grace to discharge your duties to His glory. Another area that should be looked at critically is involvement of your family in the ministry. The challenge here is that at times the church or the congregation, the church as a whole or the congregation expect that the minister's family or spouse to be involved in his work. In this way, I don't know of any other private sector jobs that require so much family involvement but in the ministry, it is very paramount. It is very, very paramount and critical. Many leaders in the church have lost their effectiveness because 
of the congregation, they became disenchanted with his family, whether their disappointments were rare or imagined. In all things, try to depend on Christ alone, and don't forget that the Christian foundation is founded on Christ alone. I want to congratulate you. I want to congratulate you. Na obedi yenim na ama musra unyamedum wodi egumoso. Now go therefore and demonstrate to the world as committed or ten ministers, captives in Christ's triumphal procession, used by God to spread the aroma of his knowledge everywhere. And now to him who is able to strengthen you according to the gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ. According to the revelation of the mystery, that was kept secret for a long ages, but now has been disclosed and through the prophetic writings has made known to all nations. According to the command of the eternal God to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God, be glory forevermore through Jesus Christ. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Moderator, sir, standing before the congregation, we have nine persons who have gone through their probationary, mandatory probationary service and have all been recommended by their presbyteries. Happily, the General Assembly Council has affirmed the recommendation. So this morning, they are here to go through their vows, to be prayed for, and to be ordained. Moderator, say, I present them to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the King and Head of the Church, who being ascended on high, has given gifts unto people for the building up of the body of Christ. We have met here by the authority of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana to ordain Reverends Hoxin Yao Asante Banfo, Maxwell Jemfi, Ebenezer Kwaku Kwesi, Augustine Ata Odro, Paul Sian Ohimeng, Mrs. Betty Ochri, Benjamin Asari Opoku, Gina Dankwa Sesu, and Joseph Osei Tutu to the office of the Holy Ministry by prayer and the laying on of hands by those of us who are called to do so. In this act of ordination, the Presbyterian Church of Ghana as part of the Universal Church, worshiping one God who alone is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, affirms anew his belief in the gospel of the sovereign grace and love of God. Through Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, incarnate, crucified, and risen, God freely offers to all people upon repentance and faith the forgiveness of sins, renewal by the Holy Spirit and eternal life. He commissions them to labor in the fellowship of faith and to call all people throughout the world to enter into his kingdom. Now let us bow our heads in prayer. Almighty and ever living God who gave the church people to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry, for the building up of the body of Christ. Graciously behold these your servants, whom we, in dependence on Christ, the head of the church, are setting apart for the same ministry. Confirm for them the call these have received from you, and do them, O God, with power from on high. For Jesus Christ's sake, amen. We are going to pray. A Juma na umba ba yeni a Juma kesi epa. Nyami a Juma so fu Juma nyami a Juma is say fatu ya muso kwa. Adofu no mi pesa bu ni na mo bom pa yadi eta omechi. Say she said do ombeko. Omo bu si afu from the beginning to the end. Nyango pon oya alpha ni omega. Ono angasa mfa mo nshasi na mfa mo inwi. Let's all stretch forth our hands upon these ordinances. Please pray from your hearts for them. Mompai. 
Yet the one one year in Wokunum, no one must show one, sir. Ya, if ya, what do you want to call it? The crow won't. If I won't see a woman, I say, Do you want free of bonnet for them? I do my yes, some of you, and say, Baby, be at our bell call. I will sue a honey rather than our register and so on. Baby, be at our papa, move over, could do one, my back, oh, yeah, and then your man. A bomb pies a baby, a yaria, or a crab, my yarasa, and also my own crop. Pra pra wa kwemwe sani ni musio ni na na ma wan oyoko dro hon hon ni pa horo wa nu wan koye juma asafu mpeni fwa wa nu wan koye juma erade ma wan ba kuye ni odo ma wa juma enfi erade wo mei yesra wo yesra wo e ma obi kosu kwemu en sani de bi biara da be bi biara e di ya yadi wan beko ma e ho nye mre ya inti wan ke biya ni e ti wan katin kapa ya da ye yin ya se da eni kabia maudin ya urade eni ajin kwa yesu christo di mu amen we continue in prayer send down o god your holy spirit upon these your servants whom we in obedience to your blessed word are ordaining to the office of the ministry cleanse them o god from all defilement of body and spirit touch their lips touch their lips touch their lips with a burning coal from your altar. Amen. Equip them, O God, with the gifts of your grace, that they may boldly proclaim your word and will make them a light to those who sit in darkness. Watchful and loving guardians over your flock, that in all things they may fulfill their ministry without reproach and in the end be received with all your faithful servants into the joy of their Lord through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Reverend Hoxin, Yao Asante Bamfu, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and by the authority of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, I appoint and ordain you, a lawful minister of the Church of Christ, and commit unto you the ministry of the Word and Sacraments instituted by Christ our Lord. May the Lord undo you with power from on high and make you a blessing unto many. May he himself ordain you to go and bring forth much fruit, and may your fruit remain unto eternal life. Amen. Amen. The Lord be your light and your salvation. The Lord be the strength of your life. Be of good courage. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently upon him. The Lord Jesus be with you and with your spirit. Amen. Amen. By this, my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide. Amen. 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 Reverend Maxwell Jenfi, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and by the authority of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, I appoint and ordain you, a lawful minister of the Church of Christ, and commit unto you the ministry of the word and sacraments instituted by Christ our Lord. May the Lord undo you with power from on high and make you a blessing unto many. May he himself ordain you to go and bring forth much fruit, and may your fruit remain unto eternal life. Amen. Amen. The Lord be your light and your salvation. <coughs> Lord be the strength of your life. Be of good courage. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently upon him. The Lord Jesus be with you and with your spirit. Amen. Amen. Jesus says, By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples. You did not choose me, but I chose you and I pointed to you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide. Amen. Amen. Reverend Ebenezer Kwekukwesi, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and by the authority of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, I appoint and ordain you, a lawful minister of the Church of Christ, and commit unto you the ministry of the Word and Sacraments, instituted by Christ our Lord. May the Lord endure with power from on high, and make you a blessing unto many. 
May he himself ordain you to go and bring forth much fruit. And may your fruit remain unto eternal life. Amen. Amen. The Lord be your light and your salvation. The Lord be the strength of your life. Be of good, be of good courage. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently upon him. The Lord Jesus be with you and with your spirit. Amen. Amen. Jesus says, by this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide. Amen. Amen. Augustine, Atta Odro, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and by the authority of the General Assembly, of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, I appoint and ordain you a lawful minister of the Church of Christ and commit unto you the ministry of the word and sacraments instituted by Christ our Lord. The Lord endure you with power from on high and make you a blessing unto many. May he himself ordain you to go and bring forth much fruit and may your fruit remain unto eternal life. Amen. 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 The Lord be the light, your light and your salvation. The Lord be the strength of your life. Be of good courage. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently upon him. The Lord Jesus be with you and with your spirit. Amen. Amen. Jesus says, by this my father is glorified, that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide. Amen. 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 Paul, Sion, Ohimeng, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and by the authority of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, I appoint and ordain you, a lawful minister of the Church of Christ, and commit unto you the ministry of the Word and Sacraments, instituted by Christ our Lord. The Lord endure you with power from on high and make you a blessing unto many. May he himself ordain you to go and bring forth much fruit. And may your fruit remain unto eternal life. Amen. Amen. The Lord be your light and your salvation. The Lord be the strength of your life. Be of good courage. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently upon him. The Lord Jesus Christ be with you and with your spirit. Amen. Amen. Jesus says, By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide. Amen. 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 Mrs. Betty Autry, Reverend, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and by the authority of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, I appoint and ordain you a lawful minister of the Church of Christ and commit unto you the ministry of the Word and Sacraments instituted by Christ our Lord. The Lord endure you with power from on high and make you a blessing unto many. May he himself ordain you to go and bring forth much fruit and may your fruit remain unto eternal life. Amen. Amen. The Lord be your light and your salvation. The Lord be the strength of your life. Be of good courage. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently upon him. The Lord Jesus be with you and with your spirit. Amen. Amen. Jesus says, by this my father is glorified, that you bear much fruit and so prove to be my disciples. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide. Amen. 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 Benjamin Asari Opoku, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and by the authority of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, I appoint and ordain you, a lawful minister of the Church of Christ, and commit unto you the ministry of the Word and Sacraments, instituted by Christ our Lord. The Lord endure you with power from on high, and make you a blessing unto many. May he himself ordain you to go and bring forth much fruit. May your fruit remain unto eternal life. 
Amen. Amen. The Lord be your light and your salvation. The Lord be the strength of your life. Be of good courage. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently upon him. The Lord Jesus be with you and with your spirit. Amen. Amen. Jesus says, by this my father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide. Amen. Amen. Gina, don't cross us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and by the authority of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, I appoint and ordain you a lawful minister of the Church of Christ, and commit unto you the ministry of the Word and Sacraments, instituted by Christ our Lord. The Lord endure you with power from on high, and make you a blessing unto many. May he himself ordain you to go and bring forth much fruit, and may your fruit remain unto eternal life. Amen. Amen. The Lord be your light and your salvation. The Lord be the strength of your life. Be of good courage. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently upon him. The Lord Jesus be with you and with your spirit. Amen. Amen. Jesus says, By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide. Amen. Amen. Joseph, I say to you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and by the authority of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, I appoint and ordain you, a lawful minister of the Church of Christ, and commit unto you the ministry of the Word and Sacraments, instituted by Christ our Lord. The Lord undo you with power from on high and make you a blessing unto many. May he himself ordain you to go and bring forth much fruit, and may your fruit remain unto eternal life. Amen. 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 The Lord be your light and your salvation. The Lord be the strength of your life. Be of good courage. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently upon him. The Lord Jesus be with you and with your spirit. Amen. 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 Jesus says, by this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide. Amen. 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 The clerk of General Assembly will now lead you for you to go and robe or dress properly assisted by the tributary chairpersons, please. And over to you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yao Asante Bamfo, Reverend Maxwell Jenfi, Reverend Ebenezer Kwekukwesi, Reverend Augustine Ata Odro, Reverend Paul Siao Ohimeng, Reverend Mrs. Betty Autry, Reverend Benjamin Asari Opoku, Reverend Gina Dankwa Sasu, and Reverend Joseph I say to two, I now declare that you have been ordained to the office of the holy ministry. Go and feed the flock. Go and tend the flock, not by constraint, but willingly, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not as domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock, so that when the chief shepherd is manifested, you will obtain your unfading crown of glory. So go and preach Jesus. 
Go and teach Jesus. Go and heal the sick in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Congratulations and welcome to the ordained ministry. Amen. People of God, we thank God for such a wonderful moment in His presence. No one comes to the presence of the Lord and leaves the same. I know you have been blessed. Therefore, on behalf of the leadership of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, I want to thank you all for being part of this special program, particularly all our donors who have continuously given in support of this program. We say God richly bless you. You can also donate to support this worthy cause for the expansion of the kingdom of God through the account details on your screen. And as we always do, we shall acknowledge your donations duly. We say God richly bless you. As the church, we are always ready and our doors are open to also guide all of us in our Christian journey as we walk with the Lord. Therefore, our team of counselors are always on hand to guide us and to pray with us. And therefore, you can contact the team with the contact details on your screen and we shall be glad to pray with you and to guide you in your Christian journey. Beloved in the Lord, and we meet again next week on the same channel and at the same time, we say God richly bless you and stay blessed and be preserved through the blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. <laughs>